About two weeks ago, rumors started flying around out of the blue that our credit union was being closed. Uh, so some phone calls were being made and we found out that uh, two hatchet men from Coastal Community Headquarters in Nanaimo were coming up to tell our staff that they were essentially losing their jobs. That was on a Friday. Uh, using social media, we organized a flash mob which met the 11 o'clock ferry, met these two hatchet guys who were coming to fire our four staff, and uh, basically gave them an earful as to what we thought about uh, the closure of our credit union. Those two people promised that they would stay around for the rest of the afternoon and answer all our questions and uh, try to explain the rationale behind the closing. In fact, they snuck off on the next ferry after firing the four ladies who work in our credit union. This potential closure that's going to happen, or maybe happen, what does it mean to the community of, of the surrounding islands, Sointula, Alert Bay, and Cortez? Well, the, there's different groups that are going to be impacted. Um, the, the first group of people that came to my mind is our seniors. We have a large population of seniors, some of whom are disabled. And you can see that the weather that we're filming this in now, uh, this is Port McNeil, windy and rainy. Behind me is sunny Sointula. So you're asking our seniors, many of whom are on scooters, that they would have to get on their scooters, board the ferry, possibly in mid-December in a, in a 40 mile an hour southeast gale, ride the ferry over here to do their banking, hang around for three hours, and then ride the ferry back in sub-zero temperature. So that's just not fair to our seniors. Um, and our business community is gonna be impacted. For instance, our co-op store, which is the oldest co-op store in BC. And right now it's profitable, but barely profitable. If people have to come over here to Port McNeil to do their banking, spend three hours over here before the next ferry back, they're gonna do their shopping over here. We're gonna lose our co-op store as well. Not to mention 30 or 40 other small businesses who depend on a cash economy. Um, if tourists arrive during the summer, we don't have an ATM. They can't, they have no access to cash. Therefore, they can't spend cash with our local businesses, the deli, the bakery, the hardware store and what have you. So all those businesses are gonna suffer as well. So there's a huge domino effect in the business community. For sure, absolutely. Uh, my understanding is that you guys just came back from the AGM meeting in Nanaimo. How did that go? Well, the first thing we did was we had drafted a special resolution which called on Coastal Community Credit Union to maintain the branches at the present levels of employment and service. Uh, and we had almost a thousand signatures for that special resolution. Uh, the board of directors essentially said that they're gonna ignore that resolution. We don't think they can do that legally, so this might come down to a court battle. But the other main thing that we wanted to accomplish there was get some answers to some of our questions because we had no advance notice of this closing and we really don't understand the reasons behind it. They say, that our credit union, along with Alert Bay and Cortez Island, is not financially viable. What does that mean? Uh, if they're losing money, why are they losing money? Uh, I, was, I was on the board of directors of our credit union for eight years. Every year I was on there, we made money. So now all of a sudden we're losing money under their management? So why should we suffer? Because under their management, all of a sudden we're starting to lose money. So. We wanted the answers to some of our financial questions and they basically stonewalled us. They're refusing to give us any information even though we're members of the credit union and it was an incredibly frustrating exercise to ask questions and just be refused answers. And the anger is, uh, it's just growing. And it, it, the anger in that meeting was incredible. Is there anything that you'd like to say? I'd like to say that Coastal Community Credit Union is threatening the entire credit union movement because the credit union movement was founded on a set of principles. Uh, it was founded on the basic principle that people came before profit. 
And because now they're insisting that profit is the, their sole motivation, they in fact are just turning into another bank. If they're going to turn into another bank, uh, I think everybody will just withdraw their money and put it in, into a bank. And that will be the death of at least Coastal Community Credit Union and possibly many others as well.